they shall rule over their oppression. Slaves. <laughs> Who's our oppressor? The so called white men's the slaves, man. That's only fair, though. I mean, that's only fair. I mean, that goes back to uh, do unto others as you have them do unto you. You know what I mean? That's right. So if you if you put people in slavery, murdering people, what do you think is going to happen to you? Payback, bitch. I mean, that's common sense. That's called payback, bitch. Yeah, payback. What goes around comes around. That's right. Karma, they love karma. Yeah, they love that word karma. They don't want to say cow, but they say karma. Yeah, they love it. Like a female name. You know, like Mother Nature and shit. You know, these motherfuckers in the spirit of a woman anyway. Karma. That sounds karma. like a stripper name, don't it? Karma. karma. Right, right. The girl right. karma. Karma. Yeah. These motherfuckers trip. Yeah. These motherfuckers trip. Um, it says, I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi they stay sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. <laughs> oasis. <laughs> <laughs> now, oasis of freedom. Oh, freedom and justice. Now, how did that work out? I don't even know what oasis means, man. <laughs> That's how, you know, you're in the desert and you see that little water. Right, right. Yeah, that's a mirage. That's a mirage. Right, right. What's up? The word justice, I think, means right to judgment. Yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. I mean, it has to be justice. You can't be anarchy. It can't be lawlessness. Like it is now. Yeah, well, they got laws. They just not. They just some fucked up laws. You know what I mean? I mean, they, they got like two million laws in America, but it they still break all the laws of the Bible. It's still, it's not against the law to commit adultery. That's in the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But there's no punishment for adultery. You get rewarded for adultery. If a woman commits adultery, she gets rewarded with what? Child support, Section 8, food stamps, WIC. They get there with the little little juices and cereals. They, 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 they got, they're about to call that shit off. I hope they cut it off, bro. I think they got a state in Utah where so called adultery is look like, you know, but you got to be like married to the law or something yeah. like that. You just get like. Years that's because Utah was created by them fucking whack, wacky ass Mormons. Boy. That's still, that's still, don't, that's still, don't, that's still not enough though. You gotta be put to death, and it gotta be. You gotta get put to death. That's right. Just like a child molester, and that's what they got. You molest a child, go to jail for five years and get out. You are supposed to put him to death. That's time to murder. Yeah. A devil, if you find someone worshiping the devil, you're supposed to put him to death. That's the law. But now, they, now you, oh, we gotta accept everybody. Now the uh, Satanists, they got constitutional rights. They got freedom of speech. No, what did King James do to devil worshipers? He burned them at the stake. He burned them. He burned them. He burned them. That was the world at one time. He burned them alive. That was the world at one time. That was the world at one time. That King James when they authorized the interpret the Bible. Yep. Obviously, he must have been a good man because the Lord used him to do that. The Lord did. Now, so, you know, so them motherfuckers just burned at the stake. That's must, the most, have been, must have been a good job. That's the most man. beloved Bible of them all. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, know? So white man tell you uh, he was white, he was a fag. You feel me? They, they talk down they about They try to say he's a homosexual. Yeah. yeah. Well, got for a war, they, you know, that's one thing that falls before war. That's one of the tools they use in war. Uh, media propaganda, you know what I'm saying? Character uh, right. uh, demonization. Right. Anything that's that so far a white man tell you can't believe, you got to do the opposite. Right. So if they tell you King James was a, a bad guy, you know he was good. They tell you Martin Luther King was a good guy, you, you know he was a bad guy. And oh, hey, you notice they never made no movies about King James either. That'd be a good movie. They don't want to touch that topic. Why? They don't want to get you in that spirit. They don't open that can. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. They open it's up that Pandora's box. Yep. There you go. It says, we'll continue on with this foolishness. But I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Actually, no, that part's actually right, though, because you really should not judge people by appearance. Of course, but... But, but he's taking it to a whole nother level, though, you know what I mean? And, and he claimed that he was a uh, so-called preacher, but how we gonna get that? This ain't our kingdom. Our kingdom is the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shah said, uh, he go to his father, his father has many mansions. He said, our reward is gonna be double, so. That's a false vision. Because how come the Bible says America will be turned into a pile of ashes, but MLK said America, the future of America, we're just going to hold hands with each other. The Lord said, this is my kingdom, my kingdom, my, my servants will fight. My servants will fight. So this is not his kingdom. That's right. 
Yeah. And then you watch MLK brought, brought out those scriptures, Harley. <laughs> he may bring out a scripture. He just he brought out his precious words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. his heart. He's coming out of his heart. Jeremiah Proverbs, man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 19, uh, Jeremiah 19. And the dreams too, man. And the dreams too, man. You I saw like the scripture, the dream too. I'm holding this, I, I can't get dream. it. No. I can't get it. Proverbs 18 and 2. A fool hath no delight understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. <laughs> right, so if you right, so if you don't uh have an interest in what we're talking about, that means you're a fool. Just to be blunt with you. So if you did, if you was curious, am I a fool or not? Well, if you disagree with this, that means you're a fool. You're a brute beast. Illusion. That's a dream, that illusion, a dream. It's a dream. Each day, he's sending a false illusion that this should believe a lie. Yep. Beautiful how the scriptures fall into play, man. They fall into this form. It's that puzzle. We're putting that puzzle together. And the puzzle is prophesying. <laughs> no, what the false dreams. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with his vicious race, with his governor having his lips dripping with the words of imposition and nullification, one day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and little white girls and sisters and brothers. Break the us. See, that's describing porn movies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where has the so called white man and black man ever, ever together having a good time? Never. They still killing them. Oh, when they go to the Buckeye game. Oh, uh, yeah. And, but when they the game is over, they walk out the stadium, they look at that nigga, better not follow me to my sure. car. 